Manchester edition of the Ozone, and we are now in what could be described as the sound workshop of New Order. Stephen Gillian with me now. Welcome to the Ozone. Where are you two from? Well, I was born in Manchester, but I moved when I was three, so I didn't do much, <laughs> really. Moved to Macclesfield. And I've always lived in Macclesfield. Don't know why. Kind of like the place. So would you describe yourself as Northernists, then? No, not really. I don't, I don't think it makes any difference where you, where you come from. I suppose uh, we've got a reputation, New Order, as, as, as a band, because we stayed here in Manchester after we got a successful. But um, there was just no point in moving, really. You know, there, there was that, we were on a Manchester record label, and still are, and there was no point in moving. I think, I think we were too lazy to move. Also, uh, factory records are here. Yeah. So it's uh, more convenient. But I was going to talk about that. Has it been, do you think, looking back over the career of New Order, an advantage to be, how can we put it, perhaps a bigger fish in a smaller pond than it's, being on a major? It's been a lot more interesting, I'm sure. A lot of it is you, you just get more personal attention off a small label. It's worked both ways. Factory have learned a lot as well. Yeah from us and they've grown sort of with us as well. In the early days, uh, Factory used to insist on no promotion. They've done a turnaround now. So they never used to promote your singles or anything, which we thought, oh yeah, how true and moralistic and all that rubbish, right? And on the other hand, you're out there touring, touring and touring and touring and working and really doing all their work for, for them. You know, so that's a drawback. But they have turned around now, and I think um, it's a really good le record label to be on. Talk about your new project, mm -hmm. Electronic. How did all that come about? Um, how did it come about? How did it come about? Was it we were sitting in a bar one night and thought, why don't we do this? Or well, is something you'd been wanting to do for a long time? <clears throat> no, I mean, for, for a long time, they've been sort of, I suppose, forcing the order to go in certain directions. And uh, we'd occasionally argue about it. So, in the end, I just thought, well, why try and convince everybody to do this? Why don't I just do it on my own? I've been walking in the rain just to get wet on purpose. I've been forcing myself not to forget just to feel worse. I've been getting away with it all my life. We were each doing solo projects. Um, Peter's doing uh, Revenge, I'm doing Electronic, and Steve and Gillian have been doing some music for uh, Making Out, a bit new BBC TV series. Oh, she's uh, back on your screens as we speak, um, done the title music and some bits for reportage. <laughs> Does it help to go away and do individual projects and then come back together as a band? Are you more refreshed? Yeah, we, we, we start writing, I think, about September. And the plan is to get another single out sometime before the end of the year with the album to follow early next year, if we get cracking. I think we're going to be working again in three weeks. We're going to be doing... Um, we're supposed to be doing the England World Cup Squad song. I'm intrigued to know what a band like New Order would come up with for the England World Cup song. Can you <laughs> well, join the club? Come up with it. <laughs> come up with it yeah. Yes, we're, we're quite intrigued as well. Um, well, the only thing is, it's, it's not got to be Chaz and Dave or anything like that. But it's got to be, it's just got to be good, really. I think a good song's a good song, whether it's a football song or whatever. I think the problem that we've got with it is that. At the back of your mind, you've always got this, this preconceived notion of a football song, and it's 
you know, we don't want to do it like that, really. Uh, we just basically we just come to write a song, and then yeah, hope, we're hope treat it fits. It as a song, but not as a a football song. that's just about it from the Ozone for this week and indeed for this series. But never fear, we will be back on your screen soon. And don't forget, there is the Ozone column every week in Fast Forward. Just before we go, our congratulations to some bands who've made it since appearing on the programme. Bands like Big Fun, Yell and Why Not and Halo James. Take great care. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.